Hello everybody, welcome to day 5 of our 15 day scrapbooking vlog challenge. Today Amanda and I are doing things with envelopes. So I'm not sure exactly what she's doing, I think it has something to do with some sort of fun happy mail. Today I have to, um, well I'm getting ready to take some photos to my sister and I wanted to put them in a really cute envelope. So um, today I thought it would be fun to just kind of maybe decorate it kind of cute and maybe even add some holes to it so that she can add the envelope itself directly into her Project Life album, like if she had like extra ephemera or something fun. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you today's project. I'm going to um, go and grab some supplies and I'll take you with me. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab an envelope, and I keep my envelopes in this cupboard. Um, I have a few different ones, and I think I just want a plain cream one. Yeah, so that'll work. So, let's see. There's that. And then... I definitely want to grab some of my leftover scraps from my fine and dandy projects because um, the photos I'm sending or I'm giving my sister are for a birthday party so the fine and dandy stuff is perfect, so I'll add that bowl with goodies, and let's see, maybe, maybe this bowl too. Um, and I think, oh yeah, and then I need to grab the photos which I'm pretty sure are in the Costco box. So guys, I think that's most of what I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and put you up in my overhead tripod and um, see if we can start creating. Okay, so let's see. First, let me grab the photos. I have this little stack of photos that I took from a birthday party. My sister asked me to take them, so um, I uploaded them to Costco so she could have them printed out, but I wanted to take her some so she could see what they looked like. So I'm going to grab those, put those there. Um, let's see. I want to make sure that the envelope I grab is the right size. It looks like it's good. Okay. So, I don't want to do anything too crazy, um, but I know I want to line the inside of this envelope with some pretty paper. Um, and I have kind of a makeshift template uh, to use for that. I should make a, like a real, like legit one, but I just have been too lazy. I like this paper, I think. I really like this side, but... I think this is perfect for party photos. So, I think I'm going to do that. And I think I'm going to, I think I want to use these, so I think I'm going to do it like this. Um, yeah. So... that and then let's see this is not perfectly straight so let's see if maybe this will help
It's kind of hard doing um, templates, I think, for the inside of envelopes if this part here isn't square because it's hard to get it to like line up perfectly. Okay. All right, let's try that. I'm gonna grab the paper trimmer. You guys, I apologize ahead of time for, well, for all the noise that my daughter's making. She's definitely going through a phase right now where she's doing a lot of talking. Um, okay, let's see. All right, and then let's do that, and that. All right, and then let's let's see if this fits. Close enough to me. Okay, cool. Alright, now I just need to make... Let's see. Gonna just bend it so it has a crease. And I'm gonna grab my um, bone folder. I like that. All right, and some adhesive. Hmm, maybe I don't want to use this one. I'm gonna grab my other adhesive, I'll be right back. Just in case I mess up putting the base or the liner in the envelope, I wanted an adhesive that would be a little easier to work with. So this is the Tombow adhesive and it's permanent but it's not like crazy strong like um, like the other one. Okay. Yeah because there's no way I would have been able to get this in there properly otherwise I don't think So that's so cute. So that's the inside. And I think I want to do a strip here. A lot of times I'll do like a strip along the bottom, but again, that's like if it's flat, since it's angled, I don't want to do a strip like that. So I'm just I think I'm going to do one here instead. Okay. Um, I think I like this because it's an envelope and. <coughs> We're doing envelopes, so yeah, I think I like that. Just like that around the top, maybe. Because the other one would be this strip here that says lovely day, which is good too, but I think I like the envelope one because I'm doing an envelope. Yeah, so. Let's see here. Okay. I originally got the idea for adding a strip like this to my envelopes 
from um, my friend Brittany. You guys know her on YouTube as Crafty Buns, which she has not done a, a video in ages because she's super busy. But um, eventually, I hope, she's going to start up again. Fingers crossed. She did some awesome stuff. You should totally check out her channel if you haven't. Okay, scissors. Where did my scissors go? Okay. Cute. so adorable I love it okay all right well I think just like this is super cute for sending photos but um, I think I want to do some embellishments on the top too so let's see camera would be good since I'm giving her photos That's cute. And since they're photos of a party, I think the let's party would be perfect. I like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, you guys. Okay. So, let's see. Maybe... Maybe a strip of this. This is really pretty. Mm, I think I like this, just this, this piece on the front. Um, I think that would be cute because it says, delicious treats for everyone, and obviously there was like birthday cake, fine and dandy, just for you, lovely day, love. Um, I like that, okay. So, Let's let me see here. Right about there. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Alright. Gosh, that's super cute just like that, especially with like the foil. Um <laughs> let's 
see. That'd be kind of cute, maybe in this corner or over here. I like it over here, but it kind of goes off the edge. I'm not sure how I feel about that. All right, well, I don't have a ton of time here, so I guess it's okay to have it go outside the envelope just a little bit. I bet it will be fine. All right, so I'm going to pop up the camera just a tad. And I don't want it too bulky at all. So I'm just using like really not, not tall um, foam. And I left a spot here so that I can put these guys on there somehow. Yeah, that's super cute. Okay. All right, and there's those hearts there, so I'm thinking I want to add this other one right here. And actually, I'm going to grab my extreme adhesive for that. Okay, so I have the Tombow Extreme. I don't have to worry about it coming up. And the last thing that I want to do is add holes to it so that she can put it in her Project Life album to hold like extra bits of ephemera or whatever. So. I'm going to find a page protector so that I can make some ho holes, pre-make some holes there. Alright, so I definitely want the holes on this side. And I think I want it up like this. So, I'm going to make my holes right there okay perfect all right and then the last thing I think I want to do is check and see if I have some um, uh, little protectors for those. Okay, so I have these. I want to see how they look. So, let me put some photos in here. So the photos don't go down enough to block those holes, which is good. So it can just be like that. And I'm going to go grab an album so that I can see what it looks like in there. So I just grabbed my Project Life album. 
Um, let's see. So, let's see how this looks. Perfect. That's super cute. I love it. And then you have the photos. That works great. Okay, you guys, thanks so much um, for watching my little project for today. I hope you're enjoying our daily vlogs. I'll see you soon. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that we know to make more videos. Don't forget to stop by Amanda's channel to see what her envelope looks like for today. And um, uh, I will see you tomorrow for our next challenge. Thanks for stopping by, you guys.